Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is going to be another little short uh, WordPress backend admin maintenance video. What we're going to do in this video is show you how to add a new post. So you see we're in the dashboard and we've already logged in. And if you don't know how to log into the WordPress, uh, WordPress dashboard, uh, go ahead and check out the video I made on that, which is also on this uh, site. Um, I'll try to link it below, but it may, I may not be able to do that for a while. So, uh, Okay, so you see right here we're in the dashboard. And this is the left dashboard menu. So you want to look for posts. In posts, if you click add new, you can start making a post there. At the top here, you can also click new or uh, hover over new and then drop down and click post and that's how you can start making a post or you can even start with quick draft so I'll show you a couple different things all right so quick draft was we'll called this uh, test draft post okay all right what's on your mind we're just testing making a draft post from the dashboard quickly okay and then we click save draft now if you look here it'll give you the title of what we called that post we called it test draft post and there it is and if we had more drafts they'd be listed there so how do you see what posts are already made well let's go to uh, let's go to posts and all posts is where you want to go okay this is the best place to look at it. WordPress offers you other places to look at it uh, but for now we'll just look at this so here you're gonna see all your posts you know first of all here's that draft that we made and how can you view it well if it's a draft you can't view it yet but you can preview it so that means it's not live your customers or users or whatever aren't seeing it people that go to your website aren't seeing it but you can see what it's going to look like to them in the end so click preview and it's going to preview in the same page and so you can see uh, here we go all it is is just that text we put in there no big whoop very quickly okay and you can see I created it so I'm listed as the author and there's my gravatar all right so then we go click the arrow to go back all right now I'll show you how to delete a post you should go to trash bada bing bada boom now it's gone now if I go to um, I'll show you another way to add a post if I click add new in here this is a really cool way to do it if I click add new it's going to give me a more full version with a lot of more options on what I can add okay so I'm gonna put title here this is going to be a full uh, post example okay now watch this as soon as I push enter or, well I, I don't want to do enter but if I do tab or click into here it's going to make a permalink which is just another name for the URL or the website link to this particular post right now it's called full post example and it built it off of there now I could go into edit and say full post X and just call it that if I wanted to if I did that I'd have to uh, first of all do save draft always do save draft this is equivalent to when you're working in Windows like Microsoft Word or something if you're typing a long document you don't want to lose it because the the power goes out or something so you save every so often always save frequently the equivalent of that in WordPress is clicking save draft okay so what we'll do 
So we'll just uh, add in some text from, uh, let's say, uh, HTML Ipsum is a good place to get some test text. So we'll search for HTML Ipsum. Close that there. Go there. And then what I'll do is I'll, whoop. so I can go to this generator and I can choose how many paragraph sentences. So I'll just say generate, grab that, and I'll do select all, and then control C to copy. I'll come back over here, and now I've got some quick test text. So I'll do save draft again, and to preview it, we can either click here, or what I like to do is right click on preview post, this is with the Windows, of course. With the Mac, I think you do like a middle button or something. or some other way to bring up it, this side menu. So you do open in new tab. That way, you can look at what it's going to look like, but you can still go back and edit. So I'll show you. I hope I'm not going too quickly. Uh, but notice, that's all the text we just posted, pasted in. So how is this useful? Well, Oftentimes, it's best to write your post in a text document or a Word document first, then copy-paste it and into uh, your new blog post. That way you've got you know, most of your content already done, and all you have to do is some tweaks. All right, what kind of tweaks can we do? Well, first of all, we can put in an image. So let's go to Add Media. First of all, before I add media, where do I want to add it? Well, if I add it here, this is what it'll look like. Let's go with uh, let's go with this one. That's a pretty cool picture. Do insert into post. Okay, because I I'm logged into my account, but the user who I made this for her account will show her a little different. She'll actually be able to see the graphic version here, but because I'm an expert, uh, I only work in text. So I can see that's good. What I'm going to do is I'll do Save Draft. And to see what it looks like, I'll go back to this page we open. I'll click in it. I'll hit F5. And you should see the image that we put in there come up. Perfect. All right. Now, okay, well, I'll just go back there real. Let's say I want to change this so that I can see the graphic version and do some editing. I'll go to users. I'll go to my profile. This is your profile. And then I'll choose show toolbar. No, that's not it. I'll okay. I'll uncheck disable the visual editor. Then I'll go to update profile. And then I'll go back to my posts. And then so here's our list of posts. I'm going to go edit, and that'll bring us right back to where we just were. All right, now if I click visual, you'll see something cool. Okay, now I can see what it looks like. And if I hover over this image, or if I click on it, it'll show me some alignment options. So if I click this one, it'll align it left. If I click this one, it'll put it on the right. And see, this is going to wrap all the text around it. This one in the middle does not wrap text, so this is good for in between separating images, uh, separating sections, and stuff like that. Um, and then this final one there, that's not aligned at all, justified. So I'm going to want it uh, left this time. So I'll do publish. Well, sorry, I'll do save draft. Okay, well, I like it. Um, I'll go in there. So this is called the visual editing mode. Let's say I want to make a, a heading. I'll do heading to see, hey, this is the first part of my page. All right, let's say I'm going to go down here and make a heading three. I'm going to say, hey, yo, this is the second part. Okay, and uh, you see that one I didn't 
uh, do anything. I didn't style it in any way, but all I have to do is select it, then go to this little paragraph drop down, and we'll select heading two, and now you see it's even. Okay, good. Now, what if I wanted uh, some other stuff? Maybe I want, I'm, I'm not going to be able to show you everything. I'm going to make this video too long, but let's say I wanted a, a bullet list. Okay, well, let's say item A, item B, item C. All right, doesn't look like too good of a list right now, right? Just pretty basic. Well, if I select them all and then go up to this bulleted list, boom, it converts it. Okay, so there you see. We've got all that done. I'm going to do save draft, come over here, F5 to refresh. We'll see what it looks like. Cool. And there you go. Now, I don't know why there's a big space there. We may have hit an extra enter or something, but we can look at that later. Anyway, that's what that looks like. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you before I get out of here is I'm going to show you we want to always set a category. I've got the default as news. The normal default is uncategorized, but we don't ever want to have anything as uncategorized if we can help it. But so you want to figure out, okay, what is this uh, going to be about? All right, let's say this is going to be about energy work, as you can see the chakras. And so we'll click energy work, and then we'll we could make a, one of the tags uh, uh, Reiki. We just make it uh, Reiki deals. Okay. You can basically make up whatever tags you want. Click add, and now Reiki deals is a tag that you can use on any of your other posts. Uh, and to set a featured image, go there, select the same image, set featured image. And now we will publish it. And now you'll see if I go, this is the preview page. You can see it because it says preview true. But if I go home, we'll no longer be in preview, right? We'll be in the actual thing. Okay, so if you go up to the blog, that's where these all are going to post. Everything in post is going to go to blog unless you have do something special. So this shows you the image that represents this post, and this is the actual image in the post. And if we click this, then we can see what we got here. Now there's a way. There's ways to make that be something different. That's not in the scope of what I'm showing you right now. So I hope you've liked this uh, this tutorial video. Um, if you do, like and subscribe. And I will just show you one more thing, just for giggles. I'll go ahead and move this to the trash. This is how you delete it, but it's still there. You can still go to the trash and restore it later if you want to. But if I go back to the blog and hit F5, you'll see it's no longer there. But it does give you some other options of places you can go, so that's kind of cool. All right. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and have a beautiful day.